What's cracking, fam? What's cracking? It's your boy Black at you. Back at you. Another short one just for you. And you, and you, and you too, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? This is the season to be jolly, right? The season to be jolly. What I do every year at work, right, is um, I send a mass email out. A mass email out. And um, on this mass email, it's um, the attachment is to um, a charity called Compassion International. Compassion International is a Christian, um, Christian-based um, organization they do for the kids. It really doesn't matter what their religion, Christian, whatever it was. I just saw this is back when oh, when I started doing this here. Uh, damn, about 2007. Yeah, about 2007 I started giving it because I had me um. I even had sponsored children. The first one I sponsored was, her name was Emanuela Cora Tima, Ghana, right? So um, a lot of years, I'm not saying I give every month and things like that, but um, I make it my business to give a few times a year, especially during Christmas. You might say, why you say especially around Christmas? You, you don't celebrate Christmas and things and stuff like that. I said, yeah, I said, now I do not do it, but most of the women I've been with or my now my wives, you know, they're Christians, you know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, it's a matter what religion is, it's about helping a kid, you know. So Christmas time comes, I donate money so children can have some toys, right? Some toys. It makes me think to myself, you know, this kid has no mother or father living in an orphanage or some shit like that there. And um, maybe this little toy that I buy, it could be a beer, it could be a truck, anything that he gets or she gets. She will remember that whole life. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember when I got toys when I was a kid, I was poor. You know what I'm saying? Chris time come, it wasn't no money for no damn toys. So maybe some years you ain't got nothing. Or maybe somebody, an auntie or someone close to family would buy you a pair of pants shirt and that was your present for the, the year. That was it. It wasn't no money to give it around, right? But little kids out there, as I grew up as a man, I always find a way to, um, I can do something. I can do something. No, I'm going to do something no matter what. I'm going to do something, right? So like I said, I put the pass, I put the mass email out to the companies always say, here's a company called, organization called Compassion International. You can sponsor kids if you want. You can donate um, money so they can have it go to the dentist. Or you no know, food, any kind of thing. You could pick, pick, pick categories. You know what I'm saying? You must, it's not cost a lot of money. But I say it like this here. I'm starting to lose faith in humans. You know what I'm saying? In humans, yes, you fools that's down here on earth, who's born here on earth. You know what I'm saying? I don't come from earth. That's why I'm a real different person. I don't come from here. And a lot of y'all do not come from here neither, but that's a different subject, right? But out of all the times I send out an email, I never get no replies. No replies back. You know, I was like, God damn, you can't get $30 so a kid can have a, um, a toy? You spend $30 at fucking lunchtime at the Chinese restaurant and shit like that there. But people, they don't give a damn. It just, it, it assures me every year to, to make me, to stay hard the way I am by saying, forget people. You know what I'm saying? Forget people. Really, you gotta, you gotta put their hands on you gotta say, forget, forget people. No, I'm not saying forget them. I don't mean forget them in memory. Like, fuck them. That's what I do mean. You know, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? They can't put no man for a little kid. For Christmas, goddamn toys. No matter what it is. We were all children. You know what I'm saying? Now we're growing adults, you know. Hey, that, we don't want to have all well, this pagan stuff and this like that. Yes, I'm down with that too, but... um. These kids don't need that bullshit because like, there's all about paganism and stuff like that for a little kid. You know, it's just on Christmas. But Christmas, give a Christmas present. Put a little joy in his face. The kid lives in a damn shelter. He has no mother or father as an orphan. He needs some type of relief. You know, something that's being good to him. So I tell you like this, brothers and sisters out there. If you was here to give $20, 30 to an organization, I'm going to put the organization out right out now, called Compassion International. Check them out. You can do it if you want to. I'm just saying, this is the season right here, you know, that you should give something out. It don't got to be that organization I told you about. It can be down your neighborhood block. You got people in your block and they can do things too. Things they for, you know. You can make a nice big plate of food. 
pass some place out around the block to the homeless people that you know that are homeless. You know, say things you can do. But we don't do that. We don't do that. That's why people can kick this um, black pride, unity, and all that shit to me. I laugh at them. I'm like, where y'all living at? Huh? Where are y'all living at? People never care about kids. Don't want to give no charity. Don't get no zakat. For the Muslim brothers, zakat. Don't get no, no charity up. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these fools still run to these churches every goddamn Sundays and um, get a pass and call Taif. Taif, what do you call that shit there? Get money they think now. Drop it to some goddamn people there who's not taking care of the community doing the goddamn thing. We can take that money right there and take down to the homeless shelter. You know what I'm saying? Or down there with these um, battered wives and shit. Got their little kids at. You do some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? This is the season. Yes, right. I'm going to keep saying this is the season to be jolly. You know, I've got... The quote for it, but um, this is the season. Give something out. You no, know, try something. You know what I'm saying? What I buy is like this here, especially the men out there, the brothers, not you deadbeat mother, the ones who have sons. Walk around with your son during the Christmas season there. Let them see how these, these poor people live on the streets there. It's cold outside, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking freezing outside. And these homeless people there, what they do, they'll go inside the subways, you know what I'm saying? Down the subways. Because you got a whole city down in, um, inside the subway system. I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? You, you can take them down places, you know. Fuck anywhere in the neighborhood. You see poor people back and them see that you are giving something out there. You know, you give it to another man and say, Pete, have Merry Christmas, brother. Whatever it is, you know, here a little pimp, brother, or, or take a plate food to somebody. And your kids see this here? Your son see that? What would your son do later on in life? Your son would do the same thing as his father done. He seen his followers um armble, you know what I'm saying? He admired what he seen, what he saw his father do. He seen that when his father helped out some poor person, and had a the light care of the person, I was like, with that thank you look, it's something you can't you can't buy. You know what I'm saying? Something you can't buy helping somebody, you know what I'm saying? Especially a child, an old person, you know, anybody that's out there. I don't get fucking, he's a little mentally messed up. No, he just came out the jailhouse or whatever. He need, need a little boost. This is the season, fam. <coughs> Excuse me, fam. <coughs> I'm still a little sick, but I'm getting back. I'm about 88%. Say 7% back. I'll be back on, fam. This is going to a little flu man kick, kicking my ass. But thank God it's not no pandemic or the monkey bite. The monkey joints here. My face is still smooth and looking good, fam. But back to the kitties. Put a little donation out. You know what I'm saying? Someone point your neighborhood there, you know, fam, that mama pops on drugs and them shit like that. You know, if lots of fans like that. I mean, as a little kid, what you not gonna do? They want ketchup, eggs, whatever. Moms and pops ain't got no money. They might be on goddamn drugs. That's the only way the kids eating in there, saying. Go up there and do a little place up to the house there. You no, know, get a junkie some food too. Junkies deserve some food too, fam. You know what I'm saying? Don't look at them because all they junkies and they use drugs and bad people know it's a sickness. You know what I'm saying? It's a sickness. That lots of people the ghetto go through. Now, lots of people who went through. I say most of them had some kind of um, dealings with it. They might have surpassed it, let it all go, but they know, they know, you know, junkies need some food too. Gay little kids, you no, know, a little plate up there, you no, know, do something. Goddamn, you got some old toys that your kids not using no more than PlayStations. You know, it's just your, your, your kid, that sorry little bastard who play video games all goddamn day, don't do a goddamn thing. Just get new games always. Take his goddamn games and get some support, kids. You know what I'm saying? And throw, and throw his ass out of the house. You know what I'm saying? Until we go run a track or some shit. Go little kids to get fat, sloppy, anyway, fam. But anyway, I'm just saying like this here. This is the season, you know what I'm saying? You know, be charitable. You know, be charitable. Especially the people you know that need it. You know, you that know that need it. I'd say like this here. If you can gather about, you know, four, say about three, four people, you know, and you would go to just some, what you call these things like um, these old folks' homes. And just go, go pop a visit inside there. Just spend one hour with the old folks, with the old heads, and just listen to them and talk to them. Just imagine how good they would feel, huh? That they're not being fucking left. Or most of them, maybe their kids have forgot about them putting inside this home. Or maybe their kids are dead. Their husbands and wives are dead. They have nobody else. And you would come there with those three, four your boys, your girls, whatever you're the, you know, the homies from the block. Showing some love, bring a little present, some, some little eggnog, you know what I'm saying? A little eggnog with a little, little lean in it, 
you know, have pops, you know, feeling good and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just doing something like that, dear. You know what I'm saying? They will appreciate that very much. Believe me, man. Believe me. Just imagine some old person who ain't seen their kid or no one came to see them. They've been inside this goddamn place for, for some years. Every Christmas come, they know they ain't getting no visits. But also, y'all pop up there and like, hey, we are here to see y'all. Y'all are not forgotten. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing, fam. In the crib above, mm, we'll bless you a hundred times fold, fam. I promise you that. So do it. And I'm out, fam. Peace.